Today, I'm going to be showing you uh, how to import the Irix's model that he recently released in Unity, how to maybe put assets on it, and retexture. So I'm going to be covering everything in this video, so uh, without further ado, let's get started. Most of the things that you're going to need are going to be in the video description. So for example, maybe Unity download. Uh, the Irix's Discord, Irix's uh, Gumroad, or where he's going to upload it so you can get it yourself. Uh, Krita, which is the program that we're going to use to retexture the model. And uh, the site where we are going to get our asset. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, what you want to do is you have the Irix's model here. And once you get it, this is how the package looks like. You open the package you get the these three uh, files simply you want to go to unity package and then drag this one outside right now let's start up unity so I'm gonna start up my unity it is the 2018 version I don't normally use the newest version but I use this one because it works simply as every other one so let's wait for this to boot up Right, now that we're on this screen, we're gonna go new. We're gonna create the new, so let's call this one. And I'm gonna put my name, just so that I know that it is. All right, I'm gonna go create project. Right, now that we have our Unity, you're gonna do a few things before we actually get the model in Unity. You're going to import dynamic bones, import the SDK, and then import the model. How do you do that? Simply go to Assets, Import Package, and then Custom Package. Now, it requires a new dynamic bones, so we're gonna go Custom Package, and then Dynamic Bones. Now. You have to buy dynamic bones, you have to purchase them separately. Uh, you can do that by simply searching we are chat dynamic bones and it'll take you to the site where the dynamic bones are. Right, now that, now that we have our dynamic bones, we're gonna import the SDK. Uh, we're gonna go into the SDK3 and then the chat SDK. Now, I'll have a link in the description of the VRChat SDK, but it's really simple to find. Again, you just type in VRChat SDK and you can download it, it is free. You don't need to purchase it. So we imported Dynamic Bones, now we're gonna import SDK2, or three, that is. Right, so now that we imported the SDK, we're gonna go import the model. So you go Assets, Import Package, Custom Package. We're gonna go into our desktop and we will find the Irix's model. You click on it, click open, import, and I'll just give it a bit of time to import all the things. We can go back to full screen, click on his model, PC avatar, prefab, and we're gonna simply drag it onto hierarchy. Now, you should see all the dynamic bones already if you imported the dynamic bones. Uh, we have to find action. Uh, 
Ah, there it is. I'm pretty sure you have to drag those onto there as well. There you go. So the textures are Tatium, PC Avatar, Material, or you can go to Texture, which is basically the main. Right. So we have our avatar here. If you click on him, you should see all the dynamic bounds, these little circles, and uh, he should look like this. Now, we can straight straight away, we can go upload it into VRChat by not doing anything to it. You go to VRChat SDK and then show control panel. Just drag it here. And now we just have, right. Now you go to Builder and you just go pip build and publish for windows we forgot to remove the blueprint so what you want to do is you want to detach here and now we should be able to upload it right we're going to name our avatar which is just going to be I will just rename my now if you do want to change the picture of the avatar you can go to scenes and then move around by using your arrows and mouse click on the camera and here you can adjust if you want the camera to be closer or further away it, you can play around with that or you can even add custom pictures um, if you want to do that all you have to do is go on to the left side then 3d object and plane and here you will have to rotate it like this and just import a picture here drag it from your desktop onto here and then drag it on this panel and you should see the desired picture that you picked uh, I usually take panel behind avatar just so that it looks a bit cleaner when I'm like this so it's not plain background anyway uh, you want to click here above the information make sure it's private and upload you're gonna click OK, and that's it. Your model should be in VRChat, and we're gonna go test it, of course. Right now that we're in VRChat, we're gonna quickly go to the to the mirror, and we're gonna you're gonna go to Avatar, and it should be right there. Let's change it, and there you go. Now this is a custom standing animation. Um, this avatar does work fully in VR and it works with full body. So, but this is just like a little standing animation. But as you can see, our model is working just fine. All the dynamic bones are moving. Everything seems to be working fine. So now we're going to go and I will show you how to put assets on it. So let's get, let's go do that. Now, the site we're going to be using to do to get the assets is Sketchfab, which I will have link in the description. Uh, you do have to note, though, that not all models are free. For, for some models, you have to pay. Um, but we're not going to do anything. We're going to find some uh, we're going to find some free assets. So we're just going to type in sunglasses, maybe. Let's get this one because I know I've previously downloaded this one. So let's get this one. Um, so you find a model that you like and now simply just scroll down and download a 3D model and click the first one. Just save it and you can just drag it onto your desktop, the zip file, as so. Now get the file, extract it, so you get this, open it, source, model, again extract if there's a z here that you, that means you have to uh, extract it let's go back to unity and now simply what you can do is you can just drag the file like that and now just give it a bit of time all right now that we have our sunglasses we're going to go to this so you go to sunglasses source model and then it should be right there. Now note, before you start adding assets to your avatar, make sure you click on him and click P on your keyboard. And he's missing textures here, so let's quickly add them. Just so that, there you go. Okay, so you wanna get your sunglasses 
and drag them onto the head, which is right here, head. Now to rotate the object, go onto this little tool here, rotate it, then the one next to it to resize it, simple like that. And now you can you can basically play around with this uh, depending on what all the types or, or things you want to put on your avatar. Just gonna make this a little smaller just for the time being and just make sure you position them right. Do believe they're a bit late. There we go. Now to change the actual material of them, you can go ahead and create and then material and then whatever color you des desire. And we're going to paint the body like that. Now there is actually lenses, but I'm going to keep them for now. Let's see maybe if we can get a different color or maybe actually a metallic pink like that you can basically play around with it but th that's what I usually go for oh there's a little, little spot here missed there we go right so that should put glasses on your avatar now again you if you want to you can always make them bigger it's not an issue and you should have something like that. Now, there is actually materials to make the lenses see-through, and I, I have them, but I just won't be using them for now, because I'm, um, uh, but you can download uh, a material that you can see through the lenses. Uh, right, so you're gonna go back to the scenes, and as you can see, the, the glasses are there. They should be on the head. If we selected the head specifically, neck head and rotate it you'll see that the glasses will be stuck on it so what you want to do now basically is just again upload your avatar oh yeah if you see any errors on the side here you can usually just click auto fix and it'll be gone and then you should be able to upload your avatar now before i upload it though i'm gonna be quickly showing you how to retexture it so what you need to do is you need to find the textures for it right here um, and you're gonna want to download the program called Krita which I will have link in the description as well uh, it's really easy to use program it's like Photoshop where you basically take the textures of the model input it in Krita and then draw over the colors that you want to change on the avatar and just upload it it's that simple so I'm not gonna be showing you how to model or uh, how to retexture the whole model because that is gonna take a bit but I will s just show you the main things you have to know and then you're good to go now in here what you basically want to do now is you want to go back to unity you want to find the main textures here and just drag them into Krita now this is uh, really suggestible because every time you save your progress in Krita, it'll automatically change in Unity. So let me quickly show you that. Um, let's get a brush. I usually use this brush here. Oh, let me make this full screen for you. I usually use this, this brush. And you can resize it here. This is where you resize of how big or small you want brush to be. And this is how much see-through is it, if you want to make it really see-through or not. And let's choose a color for, say, let's go pink, for example. And uh, basically, you can see which part is which. Like, this is the head, the front part as well. You have backside, you have the tail, the hands, uh, ears here, and mouth, and legs. It, it's pretty easy like these are the eyes it's you'll you'll get used to it as you use it so if I draw a line here and do control s oh, control s to save and then okay and I go back to unity 
you will see that the line right here is being uh, has been selected or updated. Now, I won't be going through entire like how to model the entire model. But basically what you want to do is you can select a color that you want and just literally paint over the black part like the like so. And then if you want a different color for the red part, for the white part, you can just choose a specific color that you want and just to do control S every time. And when you go to Unity, you should see your progress. Now there's different kinds of brushes here on the side that you can use, but these two are the main ones that you can use. Like for example, if I show you this one, you see how that one looks like. If I go save it and go to Unity, you'll see how it kind of looks like. So you can basically play around with it, but it's really easy and simple to use. It's nothing hard. Um, so yeah, basically that is what you would want to do and how to get your model into Unity. It's really simple. It's not that hard. Um, I'm going to quickly just save these textures so that I don't have them. There we go. But, uh, but yeah, that was my tutorial on how to get Irix's model. Uh, if you would like to purchase this model, I will again have a link of his Discord so you can be assisted there. So feel free to join it and you'll uh, be further instructor from there. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it helped at least a little bit. Um, do know that the content creators are usually really busy with their own either personal lives, lives and, you know, stuff that they do online. So try not to bother them as much. Always try to find someone else or ask your fan or someone else. Don't, don't just go straight to them and ask them a lot of questions because they are just, even if they want to help you, they're, they, and they would, but it's just they're busy and you know try not to do it as much anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a like if you want me to do anything else about the models maybe you want me to maybe you want to see me retexture a whole model from scratch or you just want to see me add more assets or stuff like that leave it in the comments and i'll try to uh, get to you um, also, for the animations, like adding custom animations, I'm still learning on how to do that. And I will do it in the near future. And I will probably upload a video when I do it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.